Hello y'all, this is going to be my first YouTube video on this channel. I have another channel but I can't get back into it for some reason. Uh, well, I know what the reason is, I can't remember my password and what email I used for it. But anyway, I can't get back into it. So I'm making another YouTube channel. Um, Peterbilt, 389, overhead console. Uh, I bought this truck back in March, it's now... June? Yeah. So, anyway, for the three months I've had this truck, there's been a nasty squeak in that overhead console, and I can't, I hadn't been able, hadn't had a chance to get to it. So now we got it tore apart. And I'm going to explain to y'all the easy way how to do it. I was a moron, done it the hard way to begin with. But after getting it apart, I seen how they had it put back together, or how they had it put together. And it had been a whole lot simpler, simpler to take it apart their way. But, again, I searched YouTube. I searched the Internet. I couldn't find no videos on how to take it out. So, I didn't want to break it because, you know, everything these days is made of plastic. And something that was obvious didn't seem obvious at the time because things didn't line up. And I'll show you why and what I'm talking about. So, let's get started. All right. For starters, I took the doors off of my cabinets, which you do not have to do because those screws that hold your hinges up, they do not screw into no other part of the truck but your console up here. So, I mean, I took them off because I wasn't sure if they held nothing, held on to nothing, something else or not. This is where my center cubby is. I took it out too, but you don't have to. And off to the other side. Now, like I said, I done it the hard way. And that's what this video is for, is to help you out. All right, on the back side, loosen that brakes. On the back side, on both ends, you have these little clips. Go in them holes right there. All right, now, what I fought with, and what was such a pain in the butt for me, was these three screws. Actually six, there's three on each side. See this plate right here? I'm gonna explain that to y'all here in just a minute. Those is actually what holds the other end of your visor up. You know, visor clips. Right here, get the fingers right, right there. They go up in there. One screw takes that out and takes it makes it where you can remove that bracket to where it'll stay on the front cover and you pop it out I didn't know that and you can't see up in there well enough to know and as far back as it sent I didn't think it was attached to the cover to the front cover of the overhead console but it is now your light fixture has got two clips on it one on each side be gentle and it just pops out. Same with your uh, lens for it, your cover. You got these little ears on each side, on, you know, two ears on each side. Be gentle with a screwdriver and it pops out. It's that simple. What I don't like is these pieces. It goes in here. That's your overhead pockets. They don't screw to nothing, they just set up in there. So, but that's how you take it apart goes back together just in reverse for anybody else oh yeah you had you have two screws in the top of the center console right here my bad you had two screws up here you had to take out other than that that's it y'all have a good day one more thing at last i forgot to put another you're in the beginning of the video the squeaking i hear i assumed was <clears throat> Was my wires and stuff up here shaking around? It's not. It's actually the insulation they put up here squeaking. That's what I hear, and it drives me up the wall. So, not in this video, because I'm out on the road, you see. I'm at a truck stop in Texas. So I can't do it today, but when I get home, I'm gonna take all this insulation out, and I'm not sure, I've got dynamite left at the house, when I done the floors in another truck that I had. 
Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna put Dynamat up here, or I may get order hush mat and try that. But I think the Dynamat will hold. I think Dynamat will stay up there and do a good job. But that's what's squeaking. Is everything up else up here is all right? It's tight. But that's what that's what I hear squeaking. I was nothing here, not over the truck. So, but that's that. Y'all have a good day. Right. Quick run through one last time. To remove this front cover, all you have to do is remove both of your visor clips, two screws up there, your light, and then gently pull on the edges down here and they'll un unclip on both ends, unclip, and then it just lays down. Simple, easy peasy. Wish somebody had told me that before I went through the trouble I went through. Y'all let me know in the comments with this video was helpful for any of you. Y'all have a good day.